Back on Sports Fit, betting inside today. Big game break. And I'll be sponsored and powered by Bet Online. Check out the bonus page, sportsbookreview.com, for the latest and best offers to open a new account today. George is up to 7.5, 47 the total at Tennessee. There is infighting. The coaches aren't getting along. There was a fight, according to reports, according to my contacts in the Tennessee locker room, and it showed as they beat UMass at home 17-13, to 13, one of the worst teams in all of college football. Now you get a red-hot team in Georgia, just stop Mississippi State, and it's a revenge angle, too, as they got beat on the Hail Mary last year at home. Yeah, they sure did. Look at the pick uh, right here. You could see uh, the Vols celebrating on Georgia's home field uh, in that contest. But when you look at this series and the recent series history, forget everything that's going on right now. The series history here says, don't be laying points. Don't be laying a touchdown. You know, three of the last four meetings decided by a field goal, one of them by a touchdown. The Hail Mary last year uh, on the final play of the game. I don't know that there's a series in the country that's been tighter or produced better games than the one that the fifth year seniors are, than the, you know, the fifth year seniors are playing uh, in this series. So, with all the concerns about Tennessee, you have to note, you know, the look ahead line for this ball game, the games of the year had this game priced as a pick 'em. Now, given what's happened over the first few weeks of the season, we're seeing Georgia not a field goal. We're seeing them more than a touchdown in Knoxville against the Vols. That Georgia is D. a significant market reaction. Georgia D showing potential to be the best in the nation. A lot of NFL talent. Second year with Kirby Smart and D.C. Mel Tucker. NFL size everywhere. Four starting linebackers. Average 6'4", 236. Looks like Fromm won the quarterback job. 9.4 yards per pass. Seven touchdowns, one interception. Eason's back, but he's listed at number two on the depth chart in the best, probably the best running back core in the nation with Chubb and Swift. Uh, Swift is up to 7.3 yards per rush. Chubb, 6.3, and they've been terrific here with what they've been able to do with running the ball and playing solid defense. Well, yeah, they've got three backs on the roster. Sony Michelle's a guy who is a third stringer on this team. He could be drafted in the NFL. So that's the type of running back depth that Georgia brings to the table. And you talk about Jake Fromm being impressive in his first couple of starts. Well, when you have 9.4 yards per pass, seven touchdowns and one pick, you're certainly doing something right. But we got to ask about Tennessee because this is the key question. Were they just sleepwalking in that 17-13 win over UMass? Or is this team legitimately only four points better than Massachusetts on their home field. Look, we've seen Dormady win the QB job. I haven't seen a lot of upside from this kid. I'm not particularly impressed. 58.7% completion so far, just 7.1 yards per pass attempt, six touchdowns to four INTs. That's not a great ratio. So what does that mean? It means the offense relies on the running back. They've got one <laughs> workhorse back in John Kelly, 81 carries, 450 yards, 18 receptions, 182 yards. He's tied for the team lead in passes caught. And no other running back is more than 64 yards. So, basically, it's all John Kelly for the Vols offense right now, which is fine if they can run the football. But against Georgia, it may not be easy to run the football. And let's not forget Georgia's strength running the football, that Tennessee rush defense. It was terrible at the end of 2016. And so far this year, yeah. they've allowed 5.1 yards per carry. I really wonder, even with all the value on the Tennessee side, I wonder if they're tough enough in the trenches. You don't want to try to catch a falling knife in the betting markets. Hey, guys, for the full video, go to sbrpicks.com. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.